Ultimate betrayal? God damn it! I don't fuck with you no more, Sungwoo. I don't fuck with you no more. What's going on, YouTube? And what up to the Dragon Squad? I am Ember, the Blaze, and I'm Glacier, the Iceborn, and we are Reaction Dragons, coming to you from the Dragon Slayer. And a quick reminder, guys, if you like the vibe, like and subscribe. It doesn't cost a dime and helps us go full time. Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Thanks so much for the support, guys. Now, what's on the menu for today, Glacier? Back at you with another Squid Game episode, season one, episode. Six, Gambu. Gambu. No idea what the hell that means, but I'm sure we're gonna find out. I mean, this episode, the main three things I wanna know is obviously I wanna know more about Detective Wong's brother. He obviously was in the Squid Game 2015, so did he win? Did he move up in the company? Did he just disappear? Is he dead? Yep, they died. A lot of possibilities. And then other than that, I want to find out more backstory on the leader, how he came into power, what his motivations are, like is, was he fucked over in the past where his life wasn't fair, so he wanted to create this fucked up game where it's fair, but in a weird sadistic way, like Two-Face kind of. want to see what the new game is going to be. I'm sure it's going to be lights out like the other ones are, but I'm, I'm ready as fuck, Glacier, you ready? Yeah, but I also want to see if the detective is going to get away right now, because right now it's like full security search, no fucking around, all the dogs are out, all the security guards are out, yeah, the red, alert. Are out, red alert, like sounding off alarm, they're not playing around, so I don't know if he's stopping, but he's like, I found a bullet that doesn't match my ballistics. We're not playing no game until I find this guy. But yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, absolutely, guys. And as usual, just take a couple seconds, hit the like button down below. The impressions do lead to more views. If you want to get the early reaction to our YouTube edits for this show, you can find those on Patreon. Thank you so much to all our existing patrons. We love you. And shout out to Aziz, our editor. I love you. With that being said, let's fucking go. You guys looking real suspicious around here. Damn, I felt bad for him. Hopefully, the camera chain. Yeah, give him a change of pants at least. God. Give him some new pants and underwear. Game on auto Oh shit, okay. We were wondering if they're gonna pause the game or not. Guess we got our answer. Look at that. Looking out for each other. Good dude, man. That's what heroes do. Good heart, man. Yeah. All of the has been through hell. All of them, man. You gotta do it to yourselves trying to fight each other at night. Just get some sleep. Yeah, it's pretty much self-sabotaging to have to stay up all night paranoid that you're gonna kill or be killed. Did they change something? Oh shit! Oh, what the fuck? What's the message? Oh, yeah. All of them, all of them. That's one way to get equality across. Yeah. Like, you can get an employer. I'm not gonna know what the game is anymore. Yeah. Oh. Here goes my lever. Here's my advantage. Shit. You know, detective's still investigating. He's playing on fire right now, though. He's literally in the lion's den. Dr. Boone's gonna shoot him no matter what. Oh, there he is. Oh, hi. But again, he's just a man, so. We will make sure no trace of it remains by the time the VIPs arrive. The VIPs arrive. Oh, shit. The game will begin on time, in line with the schedule. Yeah, so he answers to somebody. So is that a trap though? Like only one of you can win between each partner, like it's 50-50 chance? Get out of here. Yeah. I don't want snake face sloppy seconds. The bug eyes away from me. Bitch, we live because of that old guy. Old man. Damn. I mean, pretty much look up to him and respect him, so why not? Yeah. And it's kind of sad, like, seeing him, like, degrading a little bit. Yeah, he's thinking about the old man. Like, man. Just shit. Old man. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Yeah, team up with him. Fetal position. Just, yeah, team up with him. Oh, no. She's left behind. Watch her get a free pass, though. How shady will that be? Get off me. 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 Sorry. Damn. Yeah. It's the end of the line for you. Maybe they won't kill you. This <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I I'm kind of nervous. Why? What are you thinking? Either they have to scheme against each other or not even play marbles. See? Fuck. Sabotage. You're playing against them. Oh, no. Damn, the married couple. No, we're gonna lose Ali or Shang Wu. This means like literally half of the team's gonna die. I told you I didn't feel like that. You gotta do whatever it takes to win. Shit. God. He's gonna kill Ali. We're gonna lose Ali and old man. 
You're not in. Shit. And he was picked him because he thought he was saving his life. Shady. Damn. Fuck. Tessing Please, something happened. I don't want to lose man. any one of these two. Even the old man. Or a main character. Hmm. God. They're building it up real suspenseful, like. Oh, we got it. Oh, never mind. What do you on there? Damn. Damn, clapping back at him. Yeah. Shit, losing it. You know what? Maybe they live. What if the marbles of the rule is you make that pack, you don't take the marbles. And they keep their ten since they made that pack, that's part of the rules of that game. So well, like Gambu? Like, yeah, Gambu. Maybe like, oh, we did Gambu. So we made the pack and we did it in front of the triangle guys, so technically we don't have to take our marbles. Play by fair rules and those are with that means rules. Lose Ali and Shawu, Shan Wu. Yeah, someone's gonna die. I think that's a rule, that's why the old man's playing it off. In a way, he's saving his life. Damn. That's a crazy way to think about it. Damn, what does he have left? That's so crazy, like guys are standing over them waiting for the loser. <gasps> How many does he got? That looks like 10. He got 5 left. Or maybe it's 15 then, because there's 20 total. <laughs> I miss the part that's my problem. Yeah, triangles don't talk. I think because they did that rule, I think that they're safe. I think like playing dead, like playing dementia. <laughs> oh, I think it's just gonna kill you anyway. Job. This is probably the most nerve wracking game. Oh shit. Did you risk the rest of your marbles? Probably has like one or two left. Well he got it. Ali's gotta know the count. Oh no, one left. Come on, Ali. You can you make a wrong guess and bet more. Yeah, even the playing field. That's fucking good team! But you don't have to do that now! Oh this mess up! But I'm Ali, I'm just lying, right? Because you know there's ten marbles each hand. So you have nineteen. Nick, yeah, just play off. But he's gotta show his hand. Shit, so dad's not even alive. Damn, half his stash. Damn, oh, like shit. That. This guy just grew a set of balls all of a sudden. Yeah. <laughs> uh, sucks as like friends. Oh. Is it gonna be that one rule I told you about? I don't know, I feel like he's gonna get Ali killed. Cause Ali's like gullible. <sighs> no. God! He's on the roll! I'm gonna bet. <laughs> God! He doesn't know anybody who's about to kill He doesn't family. really know the stakes. <sighs> he's down to one now, right? Fuck. Or none. <laughs> okay. It's your home? Are you too good for your home? Oh, oh shit. Damn, that's the craziest game. Damn, easy too. Tom Bongon. Uri Omaasu. Gosh. That was like a competition. Aboziran Ingani Karu de Usaisuko. God. Murder suicide. Muro Bongon. Your dad? Uri Abozis. Yep. Murder suicide. Kuyope Karu de Usai Tongon. Nayako. Oh shit. That's you win. That's why she doesn't care about religion. He was a pastor. What do you do to her though? <laughs> yeah, beat his mom. That's why she doesn't believe in religion. And always prayed, yeah. Oh, that explains wow. that. So I was like, why is she like so like atheist? <gasps> He's been there for a minute. Sorry. Number 40. Bye, number 40. Bye. One of the thugs are gone. Well, I didn't get to know you. He only has one that he can risk. <laughs> Shit. This is literally for all the marbles. <laughs> Final answer. Oh my god. We're losing him, he's dead. Don't kill the main character. We need a distraction. He had it right first, even. Fog, he changed his answer and I killed him. <gasps> he didn't hear it. Change your answer. Damn, he's using dementia. I don't I mean, it's kind of. Can I take advantage of him, but I don't, I don't blame you. He only gives him one because you only risk what you have. So now he's, he's starting from the bottom. He lived because of that. 
It's a no. You don't know for sure. So I will keep secret, so... Oh no, we're gonna take his marbles. <gasps> and he's gonna be like, oh, I won, I won the marbles. No, no, no. Fuck, don't not trust him, you're too gullible, Ali! Oh! Is he doing that? You better not be like, oh, that's the rules of the game. If he forfeits the marbles, I win. Don't do that, bro. I'll lose all respect for you did Ollie like that. Fuck, I think we're losing one of them for sure. Maybe, I don't know. Fuck. I need one of these two, definitely, but... This is for all the marbles, literally. <laughs> this is literally for I already, all. I already said that pun, but let's go. I'll say it again. It's instant replay, baby, because these are literally about to make it. I mean, I don't really care if you get shot ahead. I'm kind of hoping for it. I'm kind of hoping you lose, but you're probably not because you're just a sitting Oh! So close yet so far, snake face. Don't go slow motion. Oh shit, that rock's gonna stop. There's a little pebble right there. Oh no, this is not gonna end. Oh shit. Oh, Sorry, this is how the cookie crumbles. <laughs> Fuck! I was rooting for you. Fuck! Damn, he's like, fuck this, I'm not gonna stand around and get shot. And he's messing up their game too! Yeah. <laughs> Shit. And right into a bullet. Fuck. Oh no, what are you doing? He put rocks in there, bro. God damn you! I knew it! Yeah, you just snaked him. Ali, run! Oh! The what's in his sack? Rocks! No! Oh my god, this is killing me! Come on, you can let him borrow one. You should be giving half your marbles. No, no, no. Oh no. my god, don't. No! No. Do you have one? You forgot about one? Oh! Oh, it's an act of God. It's so sad because he doesn't like, he's literally like so oblivious to the stakes right now. Or he does know, he doesn't care. I wonder if she's actually gonna play to win or if she's gonna let her win. Cause remember she's like, I'll make sure you win at all costs if I'm winning your team. She did say that, but at this point it's like, I don't trust anybody to keep their word and life no, or death on the line. Look at her, watch. Oh shit, she forfeited. She's keeping her. Damn. <laughs> she's ready to die. <laughs> Damn, she's still keeping her cool. She like actually she can't care about her character. Now. I don't have anything. Yeah, she's like, oh, I'm not going to be sad as fuck. Damn. Heavy ass episode. Great acting on all, like, everybody. Yeah. Don't do this to me. Oh no. Fuck. Where does he seem going? Okay, we're going to see. These are just rocks. Drop. Ultimate betrayal? God damn it. I don't fuck you no more, Sungwoo. I don't fuck you no more. That's that. That's that. I'll be your real one. I'm sorry. Fuck! You should feel ashamed of yourself, you dirty bitch. Shame on you, Sungwoo. You're a bitch. I ain't forgiving you for that one. That's two strikes too many, because the first strike was during the umbrella game. Now that confirms that you knew the fucking umbrella shit. Oh my god. Damn, this is a heavy episode. Woo! Like, bitch, you've been cheating. Oh! Oh! He knew it! That means he was giving you a chance to be honest. That probably wrecked him. No, 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 no! Don't give him the marble. That's gonna tear him up inside. Like, Don't oh. give him the marble. No, gosh. I, mean, I feel like he's ready to die at this point. No! I'm not ready for you to die. Damn, he knew that he hurt him. He's ready to die, so I don't think he's like he's like letting it go. Wow. God. Can't believe. God. Damn it. Can't believe we just lost too many characters. And they drug it out. It wasn't even like quick deaths. Like we're gonna take the heart out of your chest. Ollie somewhere over there. I don't want to see Ollie right now. But I think it's what. <gasps> That Ollie is, that, is that enough for you? Oh no! Is that a body enough for you? Wow, okay, uh, Gambu. I 
I don't know what to say, but what did you think, Glacier? I don't know what to say, amazing. That was one of the like, toughest episodes I've ever watched. Like, one of the toughest episodes. I knew, like, we are gonna get to a point like that. I think I told, I forget what episode I told you. I was like, we're gonna build a team with the Squid Gang, or we call it the Dragon Squad. And I had a nervous feeling when they said pick players or two. I'm like, I probably would have personally not picked someone that I'm cool with. I would have picked yeah, just in I, case. I'm like, mm, I'll too. pick someone that I'm maybe, like, half cool with. I mean, I guess it might not have worked out for me because if I didn't pick up the the old man, depending on, I mean, I'm just so like flabbergasted. I don't it, really it's just one of those, it's a shitty situation. Like, okay, we can sit here from a, a viewer standpoint and sit there and throw stones. Oh my God, you're just a piece of shit. But honestly, like if I'm in their shoes and it's like, it's your life or someone else's, it's like, are you really going to say 100% oh, I'd, be, I'd do the honorable thing and sacrifice myself? I'm sure a lot of us want to feel like we would do that, but when you're like in that no. shit, yeah. you really don't know. Especially it's like game four, you already see they, they, they kill people, it's for real. Yeah, so like, for me- Right there, there's no like, head, like as soon as you lose, headshot, done. Like, like if we start with our main character, we went with him and what he did with the old man. I feel like he is a piece of shit for what he did, taking advantage of the dementia, but I think if the old man didn't give him that marble, they both would've got shot. And now that I'm thinking in hindsight, I feel like with the old man, I feel like he was ready to die that entire time, even before the competition started. Cause you think about it, he was going around the whole like obstacle course i don't know if that was like supposed to be modeled after his neighborhood or he was just kind of like reminiscing kind of creating his own memory in his mind but i feel like that was like kind of him like his life flashing for his eyes because he kept going through all these memories and the fact that he was pretending to be forgetful when song young kept saying even or odd and changing his answer like at one point i thought he was like giving him an opportunity to tell the truth called him out at the end he's like yeah you know you fooled me when you were giving all these fake answers but at the same time i feel like he wanted song young to win because he was ready to die in that moment you think about it, like the crazy headaches he was really sick before the competition started he pissed himself he was probably at the point like look i'm dying i'm, I'm ready to go before he hugged sun gun i was i was getting emotional but i was I, I guess i was holding on too much percentage hope i was like thinking like there's some wild part that they did that bomb yeah we kept thinking that like, the gamba was gonna be some like unwritten rule like oh yeah that you share everything yours was mine mine is yours so i'm like okay I even said during the reaction, like, his marbles are their marbles. And then when he started hugging him, he's like, thank you, thank you for everything. He's like, oh no. And then the music cued, and then I can see the stupid triangle guy having the gun in his hand. I'm glad they didn't show it. I'm glad like he, he walked around the corner and then you can see the gunshot. Like I hate seeing like innocent people get taken advantage of. Like that's fucked. That like ripped my heart out of my chest. Like humble. Honestly. He was respectful as fuck. He had a wife, he had a kid. Risked his life at the beginning for someone he didn't even know. Our main character. He didn't have to grab him. So I'm saying he's selfish. Because he risked his life. He could have easily like that could have threw off his balance. Doesn't matter talking about just pissing me up, honestly. Like, fuck that guy. Like, I don't fuck with you like that no more. I thought I hated Snake Face, and I kind of want Snake Face to die, and that was kind of shady how that went down. But yeah, at least Snake Face won honorably. At least Snake Face won fair and square. He won fair and square. Still, Snake Face, I don't like you as a character. I still think you should have went out, but if I had to vote, like, the second most MVP, it would probably be Snake Face. It wasn't even like they were, like, quick deaths. Like, they were long, drawn out deaths were to the point where, like, I feel like I knew it was going to happen for way too long. I just wanted it to be over with. And then when it happened, still ripped my heart out of my chest. So, incredible acting. Yeah, incredible acting was amazing. The, Cinematography, the everything. like that. Yeah, because someone's speaking in like a different language and I don't understand what you're saying, I can read the subtitles and I can still like get that emotion out of it. That's saying something special. But Final Thoughts, Glacier? Yeah, Final Thoughts, great show. Not saying it's like not an amazing episode. For me, it wasn't. It's amazing in a different way. One of the toughest episodes I've ever watched with television, movies. I've never felt like sad like that for, shoot. Shout out to Squid Game, making a great show. Rest in peace, Ollie, you're a real one. I wish that this was some Game of Thrones shit where we can bring you back like Jon Snow, but all I can say is you're, you're a real one. You're one of my favorite characters, probably my second favorite character on the show, Dragon Certified. And there you have it guys, another one of the books. The real question is, what did you guys think in there in Dry Squid Land? Were the tears flowing for you guys? Did you see the writing on the wall there was gonna be betrayal? Do you guys honestly give any, especially Song Young and Song Woo, do you give them a pass for what they did? Would you take your friend's marble? Yeah, when it comes down to it, when push them to shove, what would you do with your marbles? Leave a comment down below, like, subscribe, join the Dragon Squad, and remember, it doesn't matter if you're up the Fire Squad or the Ice Squad, at the end of the day, when you're a dragon, you're a dragon. That's the end of the video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. We are Reaction Dragons. I am Ember, the Blaze, and I'm Glacier, the Ice Squad. Until next time, we'll see you next time.